Well, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and today's of it is on Palpatine Shuttle from 2010. So, on the front of the booklet, you see a picture of it in action on Mustafar and LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and the Clone Wars Captain Rex border that they used at the time, and also set number 8096. And first booklet, back of which is just this building step, and second booklet. Oh, which, uh, which on the back is the old win for the Iron Survey with the Evil Wing Kid, of course, and I for the Prince of Persia line from the time, and a little comic strip of some Episode 3 and Clone Wars stuff, and I for some older Clone Wars sets, and also the Arc 170 from the time, and the Droid Tri-Fire, also from the time. Add for some of the features of it, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. And so, first the width is Emperor Palpatine himself. So this is a quite good representation of it as compared to like the most recent versions as see. His torso print looks quite alright, looks good, and also no leg printing which they probably didn't think of at the time and of course under the hood of which you see the uh, face print which look does well capture, at least until which they also carried with the later versions, of course. And if look from the back, then underneath the case is actually no back torso print. And of course, and the side frame. I think this was one of the only ways to get Palpatine in 2010, at least until with some other sets down the line. And then also get a shuttle pilot. And also no also no leg prints. Same with the other figures in this set is but besides that, the torso prints of which which looks great and also although so quite similar to some earlier pilot minifigs from like two thousand five and all. And what's kinda of interesting with these earlier ones is that it's a printed uh, as a face print, and the whole helmet goes over it. Also, kind of similar like the 2005 and 6 version. It's at least until they did with did much better kinds in like 2014 or 15 and beyond. Yeah. And then the back torso print also quite nicely done. Yeah. Right next to which is a medical droid. Also, like got like you also get with some hot sets. You see how power has the battle droid legs and arm, and also Exoforce arm, of course, and the upper part of which also quite common in other sets. And this of which a good in this set of which a good way to get this kind of mini think if you're making a large medical bay mock, of course. And last but not least is Battle Damage Anakin Darth Vader. And of course this was from in episode 3 when Palpatine finds uh, Anakin on Mustafar, of course. You can see he has the Darth Vader helmet that they've used since 1999 until 2014, but it's for one of the features of this episode. Whoops. If I take that off, you can see the kind of bow down form of Anakin's face, of course. And there's his back torso print, also quite alright. And that's about it with the mini things at all. And now, on to Palpatine's shuttle itself. See, it of which is uh, quite a cool ship. Quite cool. At least. Although it does look, has some kind of similarities to the Imperial shell, obviously, since it's this was episode three and it's about going over to the Empire, of course. 
layouts for the like head area, which has the, those like big large corner slope pieces put to some good use, and also the cockpit that does have a couple stickers on it. You can like open that up, and there's odd green, dark green chair piece, kind of odd. And also you get some like a uh, printed uh, tile piece. Put cards with some different things onto it. And enough space to fit your clone pilot mini fig on to. Of course, and close that. Up. And as for the side parts, is it's mainly light gray, dark gray with a couple with a bit of dark red and dark tan. So kind of a mismatch of colors, of course. And also be like. Technic pieces representing the like blaster parts of it, but although it doesn't fire anything. And from the back view, which also like the Imperial shuttles has some trans blue studs or other pieces representing the engines, of course. <coughs> and also does have a few uh, Technic pieces hanging out, just representing another gun, of course. And let me fold the wing down, and also it has some more right things to this top thing. And I see it's kind of tilted sideways, so one has the reverse studs and one does have the studs. So, but it's livable. And as for the wing part, to which we have a big gaping hole into it, which it was filled, even though that could have bumped the price up, but even the bump up could have uh, been forgiven. Yeah. And as for the one of the main features is if you know, pull on this these two things on here, and also this thing on the back where you can also pull out. Get that on and get some accessibility to the interior. Has a couple more of the black chairs to sit your emperor and mini thing and all. And also, do get a couple of spaces to like that holds the red lightsabers of both the emperor and Darth Vader. And also, this little platform with one of those odd slow pieces where you can fit your Anakin mini thing on to it. And those rubber pieces where you can put the Darth Vader helmet on. And also, where you can like extend this sign and then rise them up. Which also. And it works fine. Look, works great. Just about like the 2017 Vader transformation set. And also, get a couple of dark tan uh, plates there to make it just jet along, of course. The good thing of which that is. I oh, did use actual pieces to put the helmet on rather than use your fingers like the 2005 version of the Vader Transformation set, of course. And let me get the roof part on again. And how you get it on again is you just block on and these things can attach to those to the hole there like so. Even though the spy parts do kind of jet out a little, but enough space to stand your Vader mini fig in, I guess. And now, on to the final verdict.
So overall, this I think a quite cool set, kind of cool set of 2010. At least that is still episode three, but outside Clone Wars, of course, and also do you get the Emperor Palpatine added to your episode three minifig collection, of course, and also an exclusive version of Battle Damage Anakin, of course. But also, do you get the uh, Darth Vader transformation part of it, even though it didn't really happen aboard it. It was in a separate building in the movie, of course. There's, and also, only verse, only time we've ever got this particular ship in Lego form, of course. There's, if they redid it, I expect that they would just make it more spacious without the Vader transformation, of course. Even though that was a separate set a little while ago, of course, yeah. And if you still have this set from back then, back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to getting to getting this one, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe.